from um, uh, rap4.com, Real Action Paintball. I told you guys going into 2009, Tech TV, we're going to be focusing a lot on Woods Ball, Mill Sim, the whole, uh, you know, that whole side of, of paintball. So we're going to take a look and see what exactly we got in here. We got a cool show coming up this weekend. Um, at Cone Sports, we actually are going to have two, you know, real military uh, Marine Scout snipers that are going to be going out there and doing a class on sniping and, uh, you know, camouflage and tactics and setting yourself up for the shot and stuff like that. So let's take a look and see what we got here. There's like parts kit, harness, magazine. This is actually their, their CO2 tank that looks like that fits into the stock which is kind of cool and we've got a couple more magazines let me see we've got one two three four five magazines oh so here's their t68 wow and then this is the bag for it And here's some of the uh, little brochure on some of the new stuff that they have from their uh, grenade launcher, RAP5, RAP4, T68 pistol, landmine, throat mic, vest, lots of cool stuff there. Oh. So let's take a look and see what's in here. This thing is like scary real, you know? Whoa. Holy cow. Yeah, that's really, I mean, that's really intense. And that's a beautiful gun. Well, now it looks like to um, put paintballs in here. Now keep in mind, this is the first time I've ever touched this. Looks like there's a, um, a wind up right here, so what we'll do is we'll just wind this up and you'll see the the piston going down so looks like it just went down and around and stopped so I'm going to start feeding some paintballs in here it's kind of cool they actually have a little it's like a detent system up there at the top to you know prevent them from coming out so there we go. So it looks like that's the magazine. So I believe you hit, you put it up into the gun and hit the button. It releases the uh, the spring tension on it. Let's go ahead and do that really quick. Yep, that's on there. And it's got the magazine release right in the same place you would. Very cool. So I'll go get my. Uh, I'm gonna get my um, remote coil, and we'll shoot it. So we got our um, remote line here. This is a remote line from uh, Ninja Paintball. Let's just go ahead and turn it on. Air went into the gun. <laughs> so cool. So let's take this out here. And then we'll try shooting it. Push the safe. Looks like the safety's off. I'll just hold this here. Oh yeah. Yeah. There we go. Wow. That's a good shooting gun. That's a really good shooting gun. Did you hear it hit the tree or? <laughs> Come here, can you get a get a shot like over the shoulder? I'm just gonna aim, I'm just gonna basically aim right down at the at the tree. I'm not sure if you can maybe get the camera like right on the sides. I'll take it off the shoulder a little bit. That hit the tree again. Wow. It's a really good shooting gun. Yeah. It's hitting that tree. That's a really nice shooting gun. Good job. 
Yeah, so we'll go inside and we'll mess with the uh, the stock a little bit. Okay, so we're out here shooting the Rap 4 T68. Um, now what I did was I have um, a Ninja paintball tank, the little 14 cubic inch one, and what you do is you screw it into the back, um, and it has a mounting bracket that you screw into the bottom here, which allows you to uh, put on here the retractable stock. So as you can see here, there's no remote line, nothing, just the magazine, 3,000 psi, 14 cubic inch. Um, I mean that. I mean that's got really good weight to it. So we'll just take this and just shoot it a little bit. Wow, yeah, and I mean you're all, you know, no remote line, nothing. I'm probably, I'm pretty sure that, uh, I mean you should be good for at least, I'd probably say at least what, maybe 150, 200 paintballs, probably out of out of the uh, 14 cubic inch, but as you can see here, I mean this is, I mean this is about as real as you could possibly get. Jesus, come over here and shoot, look down the side on this. So what we'll do here is let's um, put in another magazine. And the magazines are pretty easy to fill. Um, as you can see that little dial right here, you just crank that dial down and then uh, just basically feed the, um, uh, feed the paintballs in there by hand. There we go, so the magazine's in there. There we go, let me get, give you a, off the shoulder here so you can see down the sight. That's a really quiet gun. I mean, I'm really surprised how quiet that gun is. You know, out of all that shooting, I think our tank went down about 300 PSI. So it looks like, I mean, you could probably carry probably 10 plus magazines out there on the field and uh, with no problem at all. And then, you know, to go to fill up with the fill station, you could just take your car stock, slide it back. That's a really good angle of what exactly happens here. So you screw the, you screw the um, little uh, high pressure air tank in there and then you put this mounting bracket and that's what actually the stock attaches to that mounting bracket. And you can see it's on there. You know, it's not going anywhere. There you go, and you go, you go to, you know, when you go to fill it, you know, you can just twist it a little bit if you need to. Get your fill nipple on there and fill the tank up. And they did a really good job with this. I mean, I'm really impressed. I mean, they did a really good job with this. So, this is a really neat shooting paintball gun. I actually didn't notice this, uh, but when I looked in the box, they actually sent uh, one of the transparent magazines. Uh, so you can actually see what happens when you wind it up and how you feed paintballs down in there. So let's go ahead and crank this down. Okay, so as you can see, this is just being snaked all the way to there. So let's go ahead and start putting some paintballs in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, oops, 18. So looks like it holds about 18 paintballs. So hopefully you can see the, uh, how the magazine operation works. It looks like it's just kind of like a horseshoe. Not too bad. I mean, it's, it's I mean, it's got a realistic trigger pull. It's not a micro switch in there, that's for sure. You know, that's I mean, that's a beautiful gun. Beautiful gun. I mean, it's got the sights there for windage and everything. Wow. Yes, good stuff. So we'll do the review for it for you guys. And uh, I mean, this is just the unboxing, but you know, we're having a good time shooting it. So we'll do the review here really soon. Thank you.